I, that was that was that was really bad. I don't even know what to say about that. I couldn't do it. I couldn't find it all uh, because I was getting my butt kicked really badly. So I think what I need to do is level up a bit more. So my damage was not cutting it. I got stomped. Almost level 70. Um, I, I gotta do something about my gear, so I'm gonna try and find some more arcane shards like I was gonna do before. I got a little bit overconfident on that. Upgrade my amulet as well, see if I can get new arrow, quiver, anything I can get would be good right now. So, I'm gonna stick with Canyon of the Magi, because I know I can actually kill the stuff out here. It's pretty wide open, which is really good for, uh, my bow. Worm shot. So that's what I'm going to stick to. There's Phalanx being casted by my new bow. That's pretty cool. Which is also another reason why this big open area is a good idea because Phalanx is actually going to be able to do work on things. So, yeah, I'm just going to be killing stuff for a little while and seeing what I can get out of it. Yep. Okay, hey everyone, I cleared out this whole area of the outer steps. Pretty much everything in here is dead. Uh, my hunt for uniques and good items didn't go very well. I found this so far, but I actually came back to Act 4. I went even slower, even more patient. I finally found uh, Planes of Despair. And uh, pretty much, I got stomped last time, but I was able to pull it back and uh, actually start doing quite well out here. But I'm being very, very cautious. I did die once and then several times trying to get my body back. Uh, besides that, it's been smooth sailing. Just trying to get down these stairs right now. It's kind of weird at this little choke point where, I, as a Zon, I want open areas. That's when things get easier for me. So, making my way out here. Isuel is somewhere in this area. I gained quite a few levels out here because uh, I'm a little bit under leveled for this area. I'm 71 now. And no, it's the annoying cats that make me not be able to use skills. You know it's serious when I <laughs> switch off a ghost arrow. I actually know they're going to annoy me enough. Arg again? Die. And it's not going away. Well, um... Since I'm going so slowly, I kind of want to have some time to myself to focus and make sure I can kill everything. Or maybe you like it when I don't do commentary. I don't know. Ooh, that's a unique. Ooh, and that's a rare ring, which is a little bit relevant for something. In a little bit, maybe. I don't remember if I changed servers, uh, maps or not, or whatever you want to call it. No! What was even hitting me? I couldn't... S I mean, I kind of know what was hitting me, but at the same time, it didn't look like it was hitting me. And those are the, the types of monsters that have been killing me this whole time. The cultists, or whatever they are. They just throw so much stuff, and it's so hard to get away from it because of how quickly it travels. So it's, like, inevitably going to hit me, and then I die. Being careful, being careful. I have to cut. I really do. That's that's one of them. They're throwing these little skulls at me, and they just follow you everywhere, no matter what. Um. Actually, no. Let's let's level really quickly and see if I can put skill points to anything else. I should be able to. I think. I don't remember exactly, but I think I should be able to. Ouch! 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 Also, because I changed to this bow. This one, the old one, had some reanimates on it that this one doesn't, and that's been hurting me a little bit. That I don't have that Zon meat shield that I really need, and I really only have the reanimates on that thingy, which, god damn, I need to get a new amulet. Oh, um. Eh. Things are starting to sell for a lot too, so money isn't as hard to find. But, let me see how many shards I have. Two shards. Not enough to do anything. Let me check something else really quickly. 
Yes. Yes. Yes, where is it? I don't want to accidentally blow it up, but there is a dragon egg out here. Dun, dun, dun. God damn, die, please. I don't want to spam at them because I don't want to accidentally blow up dragon egg. I should be somewhere. There it is. There it is. When you destroy the dragon egg, a dragon comes out. Do not kill, like it says at the top, unless you know what you are doing. They're kind of strong. But, after you kill them, you can re-roll a rare as many times as you want within 30 seconds, as long as the aura is on you. And I'm going to use that to roll this ring that I just found. And the ring I just found is important, rather than the ones I'm wearing, because they are lower uh, eye levels, or... I think that's what it's called. Uh, I might be thinking of frame data. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to re-roll this, see if I can come up with something pretty good for me. Uh, but I have to kill the dragon first. So... That's... Oh, I don't even have ghost hour on. Going to be very careful about this. I don't want to die fighting him. I mean, I could die and very easily come back to kill him, but I don't like dying. He's not even shooting at me. I, I built this whole thing up. I was like, yo, bail spawn is really tricky. And then you pull that shit. Thank you. Reroll? No. No. Gotta be quick. Decide very quickly whether or not it's worth keeping. Eh. Eh. That one was alright. Man after each kill. Ooh, that one has skills on it. Strength. The aura just ran out too. Let's see, it has strength, which could be good for me. Life, definitely good for me. Skill, that's always good. Minus enemy poison resistance. I don't think that makes a difference with Carrere. I have to check, because it's a passive poison skill. And they work a little bit differently, and I always have to double check on uh, exactly how that works. Because I don't think that helps at all. Though I might be wrong. And I'm gonna get rid of... That one's really not doing much for me, so I got a ring out of it. Gives me one of the skills, which is going to help a lot because uh, plus the skills on Ecstatic Frenzy and Dragon Lore increases my damage quite a bit. Just putting a point in there, it was 5,400, went up to 7,500. More points into Worm Shot, more into Ghost Arrow, and more into Ecstatic Frenzy, which I have to recast. So, up to 6200 damage there. That's pretty good, and that's a good boost in damage. Should I put more in that? Sure. Uh, hmm. I'm done putting points in it after that. I, I don't think I need any more run speed than that. Maybe this is also very good. Which was pointed out to me that it slows enemies that attempt to attack you. That was pointed out a while ago, but... I never realized that. And that makes it a lot better, because it's before they even hit you that they uh, get slowed. And that is incredibly awesome. Uh, so that's that. I'm going to go back to Act 4 and try and find Izuul again. So I'm back. I found a combat shrine, which increases your damage by a ton, but it's like it barely even matters, because I have to regular hit these guys. I don't have my mercenary anymore. I should work on rebuilding up a mercenary, because he'd be able to... Ow! Whoa! On death! That was a lot of damage. And I figured I'd show it to you, because uh, my damage just went up a bit from that plus one skill ring I got. And my damage is going up because I got this... this this thing. That's not uh, representative because it's normal attack. Ghost Arrow does more than a normal attack, but... It was about 7200, I think. I like numbers. So I should be killing everything out here much, much quicker than I was just a few seconds ago. There's Isuel. And he's dead. Awesome. I was glad to fight you under these circumstances. Tyrael was a fool to have... What do you have to say? What do you have... No, he's gone already. Um, Bananas. I'm gonna go kill stuff. 
and get to the River of Flame so I can actually fight Diablo. I feel like it's going to be harder to get to Diablo than it is going to actually be to kill him. Because, ah, those frickin' skulls are so... Ugh. That's one of the cool things about this mod, too, is the replayability. Because, I mean, yeah, sure, the same monsters are going to be in the same areas for the most part every time you play the game. But... Uh, what I'm having trouble with now is those guys who remove my skills. That's not a big deal for some classes. It really doesn't make any difference to them. Like summon necros, and I think it doesn't remove melee skills. I'm not entirely sure about that. I'd have to double check. But yeah, you can go through here and they won't be a big deal to you. So you won't even be having this whole experience with them that I'm having. And those skulls that cultists are throwing at me might not affect you because you have enough defense. But, but some of the other monsters around here might be your, your what your problem is. Your playstyle is going to be entirely different, not only based on what you're doing, but on some of the ridiculous things that you're going to run into that you're going to have to worry about, which is awesome. Is that th he's dead, and it's still hitting me. See, he's, that's why I'm dying out here. I need to focus. Bye. Okay, so. City of the Damned. I didn't make much progress from the last time I said goodbye. But I keep feeling like, ooh, experience shrine, like I should be showing some of this. And uh, finding something to talk about. Also, look, ghost arrow. Shooting three arrows now. The last skill point I put into it was just enough to bump it up to three arrows. So that's pretty sweet. Three arrows actually used to be the maximum. Now it's four that you can get eventually. With enough uh, skills and increase in max skill levels. So that's cool. I think four is the max. I think so. Ooh, first sacred item to ever drop. I'm gonna pick it up just as just as a keepsake. Hallelujah. There's some stuff I want to talk about, but I am dead set. Ha, huh, dead set on not dying right now. And River of Flame. This is uh this is harder by far than the last time I was out here. So I don't think I deserve to be out here quite yet. Maybe I do, because, I mean, I am getting it done. But still. Going a little bit easier now that I, I can tell the difference in the the extra damage I do get from that ring and leveling up. It's helping. Owie! That seems to be a common theme, just out of nowhere. A lot of stuff always hurts me more than I think it will. Stupid squishy Zon. I kind of wish I'd made a Stormcrow's assassin too, because Stormcrow's got changed up a lot, which I think I've said this a few times. Like, oh, this is one of my favorite skills. This is my favorite skill in the game. Ghost Arrow is probably my favorite skill in the game, but Stormcrow's is probably number two. I keep forgetting other skills. Stormcrow's is crazy awesome assassin throwing knife skill, but it was one of the first characters I ever made that was actually any good, where I actually started to understand the game a bit more, and I was like, oh, I, this is how this works, and blah blah blah. I made a Stormcrow's assassin, I was able to do most ubers, and I loved it. I just love the way that skill works. It got changed around a bit, where uh, I, I think now you get more knives per skill level, but um, I think a lot of you people don't even know what I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Anyway, Stormcrow's crazy awesome skill. Playstyle is pretty similar to uh, Amazon, though, so to play it, to pick it now would kind of be... What keeps hitting me? What is that?